Welcome back, guys, to Trails from Zero, where, in our intermission, with Kia's memory not jogged by special formaturgy, and then a lesson being given to the class, we now head to St. Ursula's to hopefully use the Department of Neuroscience to do some brain saving? I don't know what they're gonna do. I don't know if they can do anything. It seems like if memories were to return, the story would end? I don't know. Wouldn't that take away from the mystery? Since last time, I have gone back in the save files and searched for fish as one thing to do. And also, got a few more uh, tokens in the casino. But not enough to even buy the highest prize at this point in time, so I really didn't do enough gambling at the poker table. But really, we know straight where we're heading as we continue our story. I've already checked to see if dialogue changed across the crossbell, and it has not indeed, as you can see. So we don't have to do another patrol. The story is what's rocking. Oh, wait a second. Can I report what we just did? Yeah, maybe that's not a bad idea first. Oh, yeah, the computer's down. I keep trying to want to report this stuff, and it's just like... <laughs> Bad computer. Why can I not tell you the things? I want rewards. I don't know what they'll be, but I want them. That's for certain. Right, then. Pretty sure. Of course, I still cannot go into the airport whenever I like. I guess we could try the fork in the road, right? Looks like the next bus is coming. Right around now, actually. Damn, good timing, Lloyd. Wait, what's coming? I think you'll be excited, Kia. It's something you've been wanting to ride. Huh? Any second now. Whoa, that car's ginormous. This type of car is called a bus, Kia. Oh my goodness, there's a bunch of people coming out of it. Yep, they're all coming back from the hospital. Once we get on it, it'll take us all the way south to St. Ursula. I get to ride the bus with you two. Are we holding up the queue here? Yep, I hope you're excited. I'm super excited. Come on, come on, let's get on. Uh, don't trip on the way in, Kato. Can I let them go first? Whoa, look there, Lloyd. It's so pretty. Shh, Kia, use your inside voice. Sorry about that, folks. Oh, don't worry about it. A lively child is a healthy child. Are you all headed to visit someone? No, we're just going to the hospital for a consultation. Wow, I can see a cute little island over there. Ha, it's shaped all funny. Oh, you. <laughs> she always seems like she's having the time of her life. Seems that we might be leaving Crossbell behind. I couldn't even go to the fork. I mean, we saw it. There was no people there, I guess. Ah, that was amazing! Walking might be fun, but buses are super duper fun! <laughs> glad to hear it. It almost seems like that was her first time riding in a vehicle. I wonder if she hasn't been on an airship or a train either. What do you say this place was? A hospital? Yeah, it's a medical college. That means it's a hospital where they also do research on things. They might even be able to help you remember the things you've forgotten, Kia. Ah, uh, I don't really mind not remembering things. If I do remember everything, that make you and Randy happy. Well, yeah, of, of course it would. I'm sure you've got more than a couple precious memories sitting around somewhere in your head. You don't want to just lose them, right? Ah, huh, okay. I'll do my best just to remember everything. That's the spirit. You, know, you don't have to push yourself too hard, though, okay? Got it. All right, then. Let's hit up the receptionist about the neurology department. So otherwise, we hit the receptionist up. They even had a bus going away noise. Well, we can't leave yet. It'd be a waste to come all the way out here and not consult them regarding neurology. 
Let's try ask the receptionist about the neurology department. Of course. Patrol first. Hello there. Welcome to St. Ursula Medical College. Good morning. Huh, full of energy, are we? As I'm sure you're aware, you can find the reception desk in the hospital lobby. We need to do our Kia chats with the world. Lloyd? Ah! Cecile, I take it. Cecile! Oh, Cecile! You have no idea how much I missed you! It looks like you two are doing well. I'm sure you worked hard during the festival. Has the department been keeping you busy? You could say that. Honestly, those five days were the busiest days of my life. And the week after him wasn't a walk in the park either. Well, it seems like you managed to survive in spite of all that. Hold on. That girl. Hey, Lloyd. Do you know this lady too? That's right. Her name's Cecile. She's basically my big sister and she... No, no way. I, I can't believe you'd do something like this and keep it a secret from me. Um... You went and got married without telling me? How can you not invite me? What? There's no need to hide it any longer. Hello, little girl. What's your name? Kia. Kia, huh? <laughs> what a cute name. You don't look like Lloyd, though. Maybe you take after your mum. Maybe you're Randy's daughter. Whoa, Cecile? <laughs> ah, please stop for a second and think about this rationally. Me, Kia's dad. You know I'm not old enough for that to be the case, right? Oh, ah. Oh, she works as a nurse. This is worrying. Now that I think about it, I guess that wouldn't make sense. Why do you even have to think about it? It should be obvious from a glance. Cecile, you really are an adorable scatterbrain, you know that? What? Randy, trying. Still. I guess I might have been a little too quick to jump to conclusions. Yes, a little. After all, you're 18, and Kia looks around 9. It's impossible that you could be the father. Oh, that's what I said before. Why did you even get the idea that she was my daughter? Well, the two of you together just look so much like a family. I couldn't help but assume you were her father. What? Whoa, Lloyd, you're my daddy. I had no idea. No, I'm not. No. <laughs> hey, Randy. Just look at them. I mean, don't they look like father and daughter to you? You know, you might be onto something. Sure, they don't look anything alike, but the way they act is the very picture of a dad and his kid. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> so, Lloyd, here's my dad. Should I call you dad now? Um, let's just stick with Lloyd, okay? Hmm, okay, I guess. Anyway, Cecile, you're super nice. Yep, I like you a lot. <laughs> I like you too, Kia. I think the two of us are going to get along just fine. Yep, just fine. <laughs> there ain't a person out there Kido can't win over. I'm utterly exhausted all of a sudden. So, Lloyd, about Kia's memories. Yeah, it's basically like we told you earlier. We came here hoping we could have the neurology department take a look at Kia. Do you know who we should talk to? I do, and as it so happens, I believe you've already met him. He's Dr. Joachim Gunther. What? That guy's in the neurology department? Well, what do you know? Well, at first glance, he might seem like a carefree fishing enthusiast. But I've heard he's actually made a number of amazing breakthroughs at a foreign medical institution. Here at St. Ursula, he manages the pharmacology and neurology departments. That's pretty impressive. So you think he'd be the best one to talk to about Kia's condition? I do. I have no doubt that he'll be able to help in some fashion. We should stop by the reception desk and see if he's available. Sure thing. Go on my force straight there. No patrols. Yes, of course. Yes, sir. I'll send him to the resource ward then. Say it's your fisherman friends. Dr. Gunther says he can see you now. He will meet you at his laboratory in the research ward. That's great, thanks. Glad he wasn't too busy. Alright then, I'll leave you guys to it. Thanks for the help as always, Cecil. We'll make sure to say bye before we leave. I can't wait. See you soon, Kia. See ya! Ah, <sighs> they sure keep her busy, eh? I doubt there's anyone in this entire hospital who works as hard as Cecil. Sometimes I wish that hooky playing Dr. Gunther would take a few pages out of her book. <laughs> As for me, I wish the seal wouldn't work herself so hard. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I should tell you how to get to Dr. Gunter's lab. It's on the fourth floor of the research ward. I can take you there if you like. I think we'll be alright. Thanks, though. Ready to see the doctor, Kia? Yep, to the research thingy. Alright, and now our sweepy sweepy can begin. Where do we begin from? Where we couldn't continue from, I guess. I'm here to visit a friend who was hospitalized after a big injury. Uh, where in the world is this room? My friend's room was... Where was it again? Uh, I'll probably find it eventually if I just keep walking. Just gonna keep going into people's rooms, are you? My mum told me to bring my old man his lunch today. Damn it, where the hell is he? I never want to see his ugly mug again. Huh. Oh, you're Cecile's little brother. Oh my, isn't she a cutie? Make sure she doesn't get lost, okay? The hospital can get hectic at times. No caretaker to worry about the flowers that I just indiscriminately walk on every time. Whoops. If only it was that easy to get to appointment with a specialist. Indeed, I guess. Oh, I overheard your story, Missy. You're Cecile's niece, right? Huh. Really? Am I really, Lloyd? N no, it's a huge misunderstanding. Huh. Just a bit of teasing. Don't take everything so seriously, okay? I'm confused. Oh, why me? Poor guy. Lloyd will be Lloyd, I guess. <laughs> You'll have to forgive me. Please make yourselves at home. Stop being mean, then. Oh, are you reading a book? Whatever it is, it looks super complicated, miss. A book about autopsies, huh? W wait, you're way too young to be reading stuff like that, Kia. Ah, oh, that stinks. You guys are irritating me. Unbelievable. Can you see that I'm trying to study here? Didn't complain all the other times I tried to talk to her. Why now? Apparently, Saron likes to dry bed sheets on the roof around this time. I was having a glance up at the sky from the balcony over there on a whim. I was met with, with a full-on view up her skirt. Adios. I need to tell her to be more mindful of her surroundings. Saron can be a little naive. At the very least, I should warn her to be wary of any men who make a few too many visits out to the balcony. You mean here? Uh, which we've just done. Okay, let's, uh, let's move up to her level then, so we're not, uh, considered to be a guilty party, I feel. After all, we just talked to her about it. And then went straight out there. That makes us look a little bit suspicious. It's just five more minutes. Gee, first, Celine. Always sleeping. Or not sleeping. And just living there for days, working away. Mayfa may be a nurse, but wowee, does she have a short fuse? Trust me, I've seen it firsthand. Anyway, Mayfa has to check on Mr. Gable today. You know, the infamous Mr. Gable? Will she be okay? Uh, Mr. Gable is a pig headed as they come, you see. Can't help but wonder if Mayfa has the patience to deal with him. Sure, they'll be fine. Uh, so I can't go this way yet. How are you feeling, Shizuku? I'm doing well, Dr. Beldeen. Uh, your complexion is looking brighter than usual. Why ask what's put you in such high spirits? Uh, um, I guess you could say I had a lot of fun today. That's so. Well, that's good to hear. Now ready to start your checkup? Yes, of course. Thank you, Doctor. It sounds like Shizuku will be busy for a while. Huh. Why don't you stop in front of this room? Oh, right, you haven't met her, have you, Kia? Well, let's just make sure to stop by later. I'll introduce you to her then. Her? I don't know who you're talking about. Sounds good to me, I guess. Shizuka's in the middle of an exam. We should probably pay Dr. Gunther a visit before we do anything else. No, oh, we're allowed in the super high techie place soon. Not in the linen closet, though. No linen visiting for me. What do you mean, other patients take priority? I called for you first, didn't I? Do you know who I am? I'm a member of the Crossbell Diet. S sorry, my other patient had a genuine medical emergency I needed to attend to. And get your own magazines, creep. We have actual jobs to do. Now this looks like an ugly situation. Hey, mister. If you don't stop being so selfish, you're going to get a spanking. C come again? <laughs> what are you laughing about? Kids these days, I swear. Eh, uh, a girl, Kato. Keep calling the guy out his BS. 
<laughs> you know, I was feeling pretty heated after getting chewed out. I've been knocked flat on my butt actually cleared my head. Thanks, kid. <laughs> I don't know why I did, but glad I could help. I swear, kids these days. Straight shooting, telling it like it is. So you're still on the fence about getting that surgery, aren't you, Michael? Y yeah, I know it will help make me better, but I think about it, it's just so scary that I freeze up. I understand completely. We won't force you to do anything you're not comfortable with. I promise that the doctors do all they can when you make up your mind. Thanks, Mr. Seal. I really want to get better, but this whole surgery thing still sounds way too scary. If you're looking for Dr. Gunther, he should be in the research ward. Now, he may have a tendency to slack off at times, but he's a truly excellent doctor. I wouldn't be surprised if he has some idea about how to cure Kia's condition. Right, room 202. We've got some changed patients by the look of it. I was wondering why Dr. Gunther hasn't been checking up on me lately. Turns out I've been assigned to some complete other doctor. Uh, thanks for leaving me out to dry, Doc. That's enough of your, uh, you're not a fish, I told you. I got a call yesterday saying that one of my friends was coming to visit, but he ended up being a no-show. That guy has absolutely no sense of direction. He we go into the harbor district and somehow end up in mines. Fingers crossed he even finds his way to this hospital room. It's fine, he's downstairs. He's on his way. Oh, hello there, Lloyd. If you're looking for Cecile, she went up to room 301. But what if we're looking for you, Nurse Philia? Can we have Mr. Gable discharged from the hospital soon? As nurses have actual jobs to do, rather than waiting hand and foot on a man who's faking an illness. Well, as long as he's, as he's considered a patient, there's not much I can do about him. I suppose we just have to wait till he's fed up with life as St. Ursula. I mean, will he ever be? He's literally waited on. Dr. Largo gave me a pretty thorough checkup last week. And now it looks like I've got a good shot of being able to head home this week. Food poisoning is scary stuff. Keep a vision and eye on what you eat, alright? Spent prescription. Toilet. <laughs> Nurses here are a bunch of buttes, aren't they? I'll take a pretty lady in the flesh over one in a magazine any day of the week. <laughs> I handed over some of my sexy magazines so the guy staying next to me as a sign of friendship. Get this. During one of the nurse checkups, he was called red-headed. Wow, <laughs> amazing! You caused him strife, you know. That was not ideal. Is it my turn yet? No. Nope. Now relax and wait your turn, dear. It's always go, go, here. Go, 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 here at the hospital. A little to any time off. When you are nice and asleep, there's an emergency to drag you right back up. Honestly, now I think about it, this career is something you would keep doing only if you really love it. I never considered myself all that resilient before, but if I can keep up with St. Ursula, I'd say I'm pretty tough. No way to soldier through this demanding of career unless you really love it. Cecile is one of those people I just know loves their job. Ah, you're looking for Dr. Gutta? The doctor's and associate professor's lab are on the research ward's fourth floor. Make sure not to waltz into one of the other doctor's labs by accident, alright? Are they doing anything that would be dangerous towards me? Time seems to slow to an absolute snail's crawl when you're waiting in the lobby. And it feels even longer when you're only there to accompany someone else. <coughs> Should have come here sooner after all. Work just keeps me so busy. I don't have to act anymore. St. Ursula's doctors are swamped from one minute to the next, making their rounds, instructing residents, conducting research, they do it all. But I doubt you would think that when looking at Dr. Gunther. Why are you bad mouthing your doctors? Dr. Gunther's lab is on the fourth floor of the hospital's research ward. Once you head up into the roof of the hospital, you should spot the research ward. No problem. It's not a problem. We'll get there. Out of all the professors that grade my exams, Dr. Largo is the one who grades the hardest. When I asked him some questions about what I got wrong, he just flat out told me, figure it out for yourself. Can you believe that? Well, if that's how you want to play, I'll observe the heck out of you, Doc. Just you wait. Figure it out, you say? All right, stick it to you like glue until I get to the bottom of this. There has to be some hint or trick on how to ace my evaluation. I'm gonna find it. Driven. Hmm. Go on. Why are you here? Um, we were looking for the neurology and pharmacology departments, actually. Oh, I see. Neurology and pharmacology fall under the umbrella of internal medicine, 
but they're still highly experimental fields. If you need to know something about them, I recommend you to talk to Jochim. We know where it is. I'm just wondering if you have, like, a book for me or a, a very doubtful recipe. Another day, another late chief. Well, what's new? Guess I'll go ahead and prepare today's research lab. Just, just five more minutes. Valuable data gathered from our research projects is stored in the research ward, which you can find on the roof. However, we'd like to limit outsiders from entering the facility as much as possible, so please keep that in mind. Your son's outside. I guess it's kind of hard to tell him that. Don't know if he'll pay attention anyway. Okay, ah. Uh, it's not as simple as going out through that way, is it? From This is the place we've not been allowed to enter thus far. Ah, uh, you don't look sick. You have business in the research ward or something? I mean, would I go in the... Well, I guess I would go in the research ward if I was sick. They were researching what I was sick with. I thought it was going to skip straight to cutscene. It did not. Pharmacology Neurology Lab, Dr. Jochim Gunther. Looks like this is the place. Excuse us, it's Lloyd Bannings of the sp Special Support Section. Oh, I've been waiting for you. Come on inside, it's unlocked. All right. Come on, Kia. Gotcha. Come in, my fisherman friend. Ah, <laughs> of course. Good afternoon, Doctor. Hello, Lloyd and Randy, right? I appreciated our little duel during the anniversary festival. It was a lot of fun, thanks to you. <laughs> a fisher through and through, eh, Doc? So I'm showing up out of the blue like this. I know you're usually supposed to set up an appointment for these kinds of things. Oh, it's quite all right. I was just finishing up with my current project, actually. The amnesiac you're taking care of, is that her? Yes, this is Kia. Hey, Lloyd. Is this old glasses man gonna help get my memories back? <laughs> old? <laughs> I try to make sure I dress with the latest trends, but I guess even that won't save me from the ravages of time. Um, I don't think you're that old. Listen up, kiddo. You can't go calling people old. You gotta pretend like they're younger, even if it's a fib. Oh, really? Um, you know, I can hear you, right? Well, whatever. Why don't you have a seat? If you could explain to me the current situation, that would be extremely helpful. The seat's on that side of your desk. <laughs> okay, I think I have a good picture of things now. So even the Septian Church's technique couldn't recover her memories. In that case, it could be just as the sister said. There may be an issue with her nervous system. I was afraid of that. Do you know of any other way we could potentially recover her memories? I'll be honest with you. Research into cranial nerves and brain cells has only just begun. There are many different possibilities as to the source of her amnesia, but no treatment for the condition currently exists. However, the doctor pulled out an ophthalmoscope. <laughs> okay. Ophthalms. It's just like ophthalmoscope. Yeah, it's probably that. From his coat. Kia, can I have a look into your eyes? Sure. Hmm. Ophthalmoscope. Huh. No issues with her pupils. Over the past few days, have you experienced headaches or nausea? Headaches? Nausea? He just wants to know if your head or tummy have been hurting. Oh no, they're both fine. Huh, I don't think she has any brain damage then. That must mean... What's up? Had an idea. Well, it's simply my intuition speaking. But it's possible that this case of amnesia may be the side effect of some drug. Drug? Saying she lost her memory because of some kind of drug. Yes, though very rare, there have been cases like that in the past. The drug's ingredients can sometimes inhibit certain transmissions within the nervous system. Though in most of those cases, amnesia is accompanied by a complete breakdown of the mind. Though that doesn't seem to be the case for Kia. 
Right. In fact, I'd say she's the complete opposite of that. She's been bouncing off the walls like a normal little girl since we found her. Huh? The field of pharmacology is still very much developing. It's not impossible that a drug with these specific side effects has been created. In other words, we should look at this from both angles. An issue with the nervous system and a side effect of a drug. Makes sense. Is it possible to perform some tests here at St. Ursula? Of course. It's just, on top of taking a long time, there's no guarantee that her memories can even be recovered at this point. But if you're fine with that, then... Uh, I was afraid of that. How long are we talking for these tests, Doc? I'll take at least three days. But if possible, I would like to run a battery of other tests on her here for a week or so. Three whole days. That's how long it will take to perform any drug-related tests we need. The tests involve running various chemical analysis on bodily waste. Now, this is usually a costly examination, but we can lower the medical fees given how unusual this case is. How does that sound? Do we have the money? Hey, Kia. Would you mind staying at the hospital for the next three days? Stay here. Sure, I guess. Really? Huh, that's a relief. Wonderful. In that case, let's get her checked into the hospital and all the relevant paperwork started. You should probably drop off any extra clothes or personal items she'll need as soon as you can. Yes, make sure to bring them by. Hey, Lloyd. I'm okay with staying here. Can I still sleep with you? Uh, well, that's, uh... If I can, I guess that's okay, but... That's not it, Kia. You see, only you would be staying at the hospital. What? Then where are you guys going to sleep? Well, we're going to keep staying in the SSS building. But I promise we'll come see you every day. No. Huh? You guys just want to get rid of me. You don't want me anymore, huh? That's not true. Come on now, it's only for a little bit. Once it's over, you can go right back to living with us. I don't care. I don't want to stay at that guild or this hospital. K Kia? You're so stupid, Lloyd. Kia, wait. Phew. She didn't tell that well at all. Aw, oh, man. I'm sorry about this, Dr. Gunter. We went for all this trouble and... It's fine. Besides, I get the impression that nothing good will come from forcing her to take the tests. On top of that, we don't even have any assurance they would help in the first place. How about we pick up where we left off when she's called ahead? Alright. Waiting for her memories to return naturally might be a good plan too. If anything happens, don't hesitate to give me a call. In the meantime, I'll look in some of these amnesia cases when I have the chance. Thanks a lot, Doctor. Appreciate it. So where could she have run to? I mean, to be honest, we've only got one way out, right? Kia doesn't seem to like the idea of staying, so maybe it'd be best to wait to run tests until her next routine checkup. I'm sorry about this. I know you took time out of your day to help us. <laughs> it was nothing. Actually, shouldn't you be trying to find Kia right about now? It'd be a problem if she got lost in a place as big as this, you know. He's right. Let's go find her pronto and apologize to her. Right, let's go. Aw, oh, I can't check out your fish. And we exit the whole ward, do we? Darn it. I didn't think she'd be that against it. Ah, you say that, but I can tell you're secretly happy about it. Ah, uh, yeah, you've got me there. But now, let's focus on finding her. I just hope she doesn't end up getting herself into any trouble. Lloyd, you dummy. You just don't get it. I don't care if I remember anything or not. So why is everyone making such a big deal about it? Uh, where am I? Hmm. Yep, I think I'm lost. Ah. The breeze is so nice. I wonder when Father will be arriving today. Hey, you! Um, hello? Are you looking at something? Is it all the fishies? I want to look at them too. <laughs> I can't see them, but I'm sure they're swimming in the water all the same. Whenever they jump from time to time, I can hear the splashes. Wow, you're right. There's so many of them in there. 
Oh, I wish I had a fishing rod. I catch them all and they call me Kia, the divine angler. <laughs> so your name is Kia then? My name is Shizuku McLean. It's nice to meet you. Shizuku? I like that name. Thank you. I like your name too, Kia. Sounds so pretty. Are you here to visit someone? Nope. I came here to see if someone could bring back my memories, but... Your memories? When that weird doctor with glasses said I had to leave Lloyd and everyone else, I ran away. I think they call it a strategic retreat. Or something like that. You ran away? When she said Lloyd and everyone, was she talking about... Shizuku, I have a question. Why do you keep your eyes closed? Oh, right. My eyes don't work. That's why I stay here at the hospital. Really? Well, I don't have any memories, so I guess we're kind of the same. Oh, your memories. Wait, so does that mean you don't remember anything? Not even your mother or father? Nope, nothing at all. But I don't feel lonely, because I've got Lloyd and the others. Is that so? My mother isn't with us anymore, but I still have my father. And everyone at the hospital is really kind, so I guess I'm not very lonely either. Well, we know where they are. The question is, is there new dialogue now? Because as you can see, the time of day has changed. And people have changed. Oof, this girl bowed into me and now my head's spinning round and round. S sorry, I think that'd be our girl, if I were to guess. Are you, uh, gonna be alright? Uh, I think so. My vision's just a little topsy-turvy. Everyone stop spinning. Oh, if you look at that little girl who bumped into me, she went into the side of the hospital. Well... We have to check everywhere, don't we? We know she's not in there now. Can't even say like, oh, Shizuku isn't there. Ouch, oh, this little girl came rushing me and I fell flat on my rear end. Jeez, what's got her so riled up? Ah, oh, prank calling the nurse to kill time doesn't even sound appealing anymore. Hartman should be able to cover up my misdeeds during my stay here. Who knows when I'll make my comeback in the diet, though? How what you're doing? It was a prank call all along. Were you able to talk to Dr. Gunther, Lloyd? Yeah, about that. Lloyd explained that while talking to the doctor, he ended up getting angry and ran away. Oh, poor girl. Yes, we're searching for her now. Oh, I'm sorry, but I haven't seen her. However, if she only just ran away, I doubt she could have gone very far. Thanks as always, Cecile. Something tells me that she isn't hiding from you. It is Kia we're talking about, after all. I'd say just try looking around the premises for her. If I see her, I'll let you know. It'd be amazing if my surgery went well. But if something goes wrong, Mum and Dad's mirror would go to waste. What should I do? Oh, you are worried about the debt side of things. But staying in the hospital is surely building up that debt. I was performing an exam on Shizuka just a little while ago. A particular condition is tricky to fully remediate with modern technology, I'm afraid. Surgery, internal medicine, neurology, each of these fields' current problems interfere with each other, obstructing the path to a cure. She hasn't lost her sight entirely, so there is a small chance of recovery, but... Wait, what am I doing? You aren't members of her family, nor would you have permission to know any of this. How careless of me. Forget everything I've set up until now, alright? Good job. 